of a four hour smoke, probably like 10 spliffs a day. Huh? 10? Yeah, now I'm smoking probably like one spliff a day. What makes you want to smoke so much? Like, stress? No, 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 <laughs> no stress, stress man. man. Stress. My life's good, I'm good. <laughs> Big man sing here, welcome to Cuffin Season. Now Cuffin Season, it's a light-hearted dating show where artists and personalities, they got the choice of one to three mystery guests, bruv, to go on a date with. Now how the guests pick their dates, it's through their Spotify playlist. That's how we do the thing, bruv. That's the little mystery thing. That's how we do the spice, bruv. Big man thing, yeah? Now today, bruv, I've got a special guest. I'm here with Trap times 10, bruv. What are going, my G? You telling me, bro, you good? I'm good, my brother. Bruv, that's a dope name, bruv. I'm not gonna lie to you. Where'd you get that name from? Personal life. Big man thing. I'm not gonna lie to you, bruv. I was gonna join the track one time, but if it wasn't for me, bruv, I would have been arrested times 10, bruv. <laughs> Big man thing, yeah? Now, shout out to the sponsors, bruv. Mama blessings, bruv. Big man thing. Yeah? So you already know what this is, bruv. Mm. You're gonna go on a date with a beautiful gal, bruv. But listen, literally, all you can do is go for the Spotify playlist. That's how you're gonna have to choose her, bruv. Yeah? So you ready for that? Yeah, yeah. What kind of gal do you usually go for? Really and truly, it's just about personality for me, you know? So not even on the looks thing, you don't care about it. Obviously the looks come with it, but... She can be built uh, like a snowman. She could be 10 know? out of 10, but have a dead personality. But with the attraction thing, when you see a girl, what's the first thing that your eyes go to, bruv? Clothes. Clothes? Clothes. Why girl. clothes? I don't know. I can tell what type of girl you are by what you wear, you know? So let me ask you this. If a girl's wearing something too revealing, is that good or is that, mm, you're not feeling that? It depends if she's my girl or not. So if, if you're with a girl, yeah, you're with your wife or whatever, and she's going out to a party or she's going out to an event mm. and she comes out and saying where you can see this, all you're seeing is, you're nearly seeing the nanny, bruv. You just, yeah, you just nah, see that's, the that's, that's a no. That's, that's a no still. Say you're chatting to a girl, yeah? yeah? And everything's going smooth. Then you find out she's linked to another famous rapper. Mm. Are you going to stick with her? Why you're do I care that? if it's not my girl? So then what if you two are in the whip together? Yeah, and his new tune drops, bruv. And she starts turning on that tune, bruv. These times you know that. She used to beat my guy. What are you doing when she turns on that tune? I know most artists in it, so I can't be in the whip and you're banging a next man's tune, especially if the person's got low views, because that actually means oh, so you that, feel that, them. Does that matter? So if she's playing yeah. some tune and you're like, yo, baby, who's that? She's like, yo, that's Wavy Stab, man. He's got like 15 views. What are you saying? <laughs> yeah, that's a bit weird still, man. Throw that shit in the bin, bruv. Send that, to, send that shit to the streets, bruv. Ain't listen to that. All right, so big man thing, what I'm going to do now, yeah? I'm going to go through some playlists for you, bruv, yeah? And I'm gonna go through a few playlists, and what I want you to do, I want you to tell me, I'm gonna go free playlists, yeah? And whichever playlist you choose, yeah? That's the girl that's gonna come out, yeah? So playlist one, this is the first girl's playlist, yeah? Overseas by D Block Europe and Central C. Titanium, Dave. Then we got Exotic, M24. So that's the first girl, uh. yeah? So playlist two, this is the second girl. Came in the scene, Heady One. Versus SL and Millions, Stainless, M. Huncho. Now the third girl, this is the third girl's playlist. Just Cause, H and Gigs, Airplane Mode, Nines, NSG, mm. Reckless, J Huss. So which playlist are you choosing? I would say the third one, you know. The third one, the third playlist, you like that one, yeah? You know why, cause the third one's more commercial. All the artists are commercial. Mm. The second and the first one, there's a couple drill artists on there. I like that. You're, you're a thinking man, bruv. If you think deep about these things, I like that shit, bruv. Third one, I goes funny. everyone smart. Anyone would listen to the third playlist, if that made sense. So, yeah, will the beautiful lady with the third playlist come out right now? Yeah. I see him creeping, shut the back door. Hey, hello. So, Karis, this is Trap Times 10. Trap Times 10, Karis. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. So, what's your first impression so far? She ain't said nothing yet. <laughs> he has nothing to go off of. I'm talking about the look. What are you feeling now? Oh, yeah, she's kind of stylish, you know. Yeah, you like the style? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank See, you. he's big into the style and that. You get me? He loves that shit. So you looking at him? I mean, it's given very much rapper, very mm. much rapper. And I am rapper, so that's cool. What was your first impressions when you first saw Karis? She's stylish. She was a cool girl, so. I gotta ask you this. Do you like tall guys? I love tall guys. This brother's like seven foot five, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you. Very tall, bro. Perfect. Tall, bro. <laughs> Big man, too. I'm, just, I'm just gonna let you know. Perfect. I'm a tall girl myself. How tall are you? I'm five eight. Five eight. So what do you think about that? 
Yeah, that's calm still. Don't know. See, that's a good little fit there. So, I've got to ask you, what are you looking for? Are you looking for a relationship? You're just looking to smash um, and pass when you do <laughs> Me, I feel like smash and pass doesn't make any sense to me. How come? Why does it make sense to you? Hookup culture, I don't think you gain anything from it. It's, it's literally a waste of time for me. Mm. I feel like if you're talking to someone, it should lead to something Something with substance in that. Exactly. So what do you think about that? that? There's no point. Quite a lot of hair, though, isn't it? Man's grown, though, isn't it? See, I like that. See, Back in the day, maybe I wouldn't be hearing that, but no, man's grown, isn't it? <laughs> mm, see, what do you think about that? You like the maturity? Oh, of course. What was your first impressions when you sat down and saw him? As I said, that is very much given rapper aesthetic. But talking to him, he actually seems very, like, you know, driven. He's got his head screwed on, like, he knows what he's about. Mm, so what type of guys do you usually go for? Me, mm. I need... A dominant, masculine, you know, ambitious guy. Because he needs to match my energy. Mm, so you don't want no waste man in that? No. Mm, what do you <laughs> think about that answer? That's good still, Carl. Most girls, they want you to be there now. And they might not even be there themselves. Mm. <laughs> so I'm going to do now, yeah? I'm going to leave you two on a date mm -hmm. to get to know each other a bit more. You get me? So big man ting, let's get to it, bruv. Cuffing season. Shout out to the sponsors, bruv. Done that. <laughs> what are we supposed to do? Oh. <laughs> oh, see now. <laughs> You're too funny. I need to taste this. Uh. Whoa, that is strong. Nice, though. My goodness. Very nice. I can taste the rays. What, do you drink ray? Mm-mm. No. So how can you? T how did you tell that one straight away? I feel like everyone knows what Ray's tastes like. Even if you don't taste it, you can smell it because it's that strong. Some people are anti-Ray, you know. Man yeah, I understand. Combo, That's bro. like bleach. Do you know how strong Ray's is? I used to drink Ray bare, but now it's more henny. I can't lie. I'm not really a drinker. I prefer smoking, to be fair. Is it? Yeah. What do you smoke? Weed? Yeah. <laughs> you don't come down yeah, here, bro. Sure. Big of man course. Too. I can't lie. If you smoke weed, then you're a different kind of person. Why, though? Red flags. I feel bro. like smokers, they're more laid back, you know, more chill. I'm kind of like winding down on my smoking. So before I smoked probably like 10 spliffs a day. Huh? 10? Yeah. Now I'm smoking probably like one spliff a day. What makes you want to smoke so much? Like, Stress. Do you know what? No, no, no. <laughs> no stress, stress man. Stress. My life's good. I'm <laughs> real. Um, I don't know. I was smoking 10 spliffs a day when I was younger, Carl. Mm -mm. More time I'll be chilling on the block with bare guys. And they're all smoking. And I'm building a zoo and everyone's yeah. hitting it. I would never smoke 10 spliffs by myself. Yeah, that's, that, that is a lot. You get that's schizophrenia doing that, bro. Did you think that he'd be different to what he was, gonna, to what yeah. He was like? Yeah. I didn't think he would be so, like, well-spoken and kind i can't lie I was, it was given a bit intimidating but yeah he was really nice so why do you smoke then <laughs> stress mm, me i can't lie it was just uni like university is just what uni was getting to you like stress mm, yeah a bit i can't lie i study architecture and it's a lot i wish i went to uni are yeah. you sure about that yeah i'm, 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 sure I'm stressed about that, that i never went down the uni road still mm. In this day and age, you don't really need a degree to like excel. If you have something, you 100%. can take it wherever you want to go. But my parents are kind of older, so they're very like stressed on get a degree and take it that route. But me, I'm kind of a bit of both. Like I'm only doing the degree for them, and then myself, I know where I'm gonna take my own. But why kind for of them and not for you, though? As much as I can tell them, like, oh, like, bro. uni why. is not the only thing that you can do to be successful. Like, they don't understand it. They're not trying to hear it at all. So they're more like the old-fashioned. Very old-fashioned. So what do you want to do after uni? I do rap a bit, so I do do a little bit of music, but I haven't released anything yet. Why? Cause I also uni? No, because <laughs> I'm focusing on other stuff, because I also bake as well, and I also cook. So I'm trying to get my businesses like up and running mm -hmm. and then after that, literally just use music as promo. Instagram, TikTok, 
everything. I'm sure you know about TikTok because TikTok is good for music. Man, don't tell me for seven TikTok? years, bruv. Well, I don't really use it like 16, that, you know. Bruv. If she jumped on a beat and it was hard, would you do a collab with her? Yeah. Don't know, don't know. I like that answer, bruv. I like that answer. When I'm at video shoots and things, mm -hmm. people will tell me like, yeah, make sure you do a TikTok there and that. But mm -hmm. I don't know, man. I feel like it's a bit staged. TikTok's like a staged lifestyle. I would say TikTok is just clout. That's all TikTok is. Mm. You don't even need a lot of following to get loads of views. views. That's true. So it's, it's literally just exposure. If you've got low followers, mm -hmm. it's a good way to be popping. Mm -hmm. But if you're already popping... Now, big man singer, are you two having a good date? Mm -hmm. yeah, that's cool. Huh? How's the vibe so far? Best. Don't Finding know, out more about us, though. Don't know, don't know, don't know. I heard you two getting deep as well. I'm gonna ask you some questions, mm -hmm. yeah? And you gotta be truthful, you gotta be real about them. Of course. Yeah? So, first question. Do you have any toxic traits? I would say I am very toxic right now, only because I'm young and I haven't encountered anyone that has made me think, okay, yeah, like, I need to stop being toxic. So when you say you're you toxic, toxic, what do you, yeah, yeah. yeah. I would say, yeah, I'm, un I'm very unserious and I'm just, you say you're very unserious. Yeah, I'm just here to have fun. I'm enjoying my life right now. Like, there's no one I've encountered in this life that I'm like, yeah, like, I need to have my head screwed on and focus on this relationship. So, what do you think about what she just said about the toxicness? What do you, what do you think about that? To be honest, yeah, she's still young, one thing. And number two, there's a, a guy to bring, to take that toxicness out of every girl. Mm. You just got to be that guy, in it. Big man, you're a deep guy, bruv. I love that shit, bruv. You're a smart guy, bruv. Do you think you saying the toxic thing kind of put him off a little bit? Oh, yeah, 100%. I feel like as soon as a boy hears like a girl might be toxic or they see any red flags, like they kind of get, you know, scared. As I said, like I'm young and it's like I haven't met anyone that is worthy of me being serious for them. So why should I kind of thing? How often do you shower? Um... Two plus times a day. Done. How come? That's a lot of times. How come you clean? Because sometimes I feel like showering is more than just showering. Like it's just about self care. Mm. And if you love yourself, and let's say I don't know, you might feel a bit sweaty. Big man. You can too. just look after yourself, shower, feel refreshed. How many times do you shower a day, brother? It depends what I've done. If I've just had a normal day, I'm not gonna lie, I'll shower in the morning and then just wake up the <laughs> next morning and mm. shower. I'm a man, isn't it? That's an everyday but thing. But it depends on if I'm. If, let's say I'm going out later, I'll shower in the morning, go out, come back in, shower again, then go out. Big man, what do you think about the answer? Bez, makes sense. Don't know, I like that because <laughs> there's a lot of men out there ain't washing their balls, bruv, I'm just saying. <laughs> Some men out here smelling like onions, bruv, I'm saying. You know when certain men smell so bad, it starts to smell like weed, bruv, you're like, yo. <laughs> Martin, that's your armpits, cuz, that's a new strain. Martin, personality-wise, what would you rate her out of 10? I think her personality is one of the biggest things about her. So I'd probably say like an eight. Nah, mm. she's not a boring girl. Yeah, what I'm going to get you guys to do right now, yeah? I want you to take this, I want you to take this, and I want you to take this pen, yeah? And I want you to write lovers or friends, yeah? Don't show it to each other, just write it down. <laughs> Man's writing bars, babe. <laughs> Big man too. <laughs> what I want you to do, I want you to show it to that camera over there, yeah? <laughs> Then I want you to put it down, back down on you. Then I want you lot to show it to me. Done now, done now. So now I want you lot to show it to each other. Oh. <laughs> okay. So what do you think about each other's answer then? What do you think? Well, I feel like I've already made it clear that I need to find the right guy that will take me out of my toxic era. If he's saying that I'm still toxic, doesn't that mean that you won't be the guy to take me out of it at this stage no because right now she said she's toxic she's having fun mm. so really and truly i could be her friend and still cut true so a friends are benefits type thing if she's still toxic i ain't nah. trying to cuff a girl that's toxic so, so you don't think you can be the guy to take me out of my toxic phase because i said have written friend if it was that i wrote friends because i feel like all good things start off as friends that's why i put up a love heart it would be a first car. I've never actually had a, fr a girl as a friend and cut through after still, I'll be real. Will you two be gone on a second date? Is there any other chance of a second date, nothing? Second link up. 
Why does it have to be a date? Up? Why does it have to be a date? That's what you're saying. It's me. It's it saying. might not be yeah. a restaurant, though. It could be something else, isn't it? Could be something else. Could, something be, a, else could be a travel what? lodge thing. Travel lodge? <laughs> That's a travel lodge. No, it could be anything that I don't know. It could be an activity instead of a date. You like activities? Yeah. What kind of activities do you like? You know, I like drinking. Mm. I like, I don't know, golf, ice skating. You on, you on the ice skating thing, fam? <laughs> I'm not on the ice skating thing. I don't mind other activities like golf and all of that stuff. Really and truly, if she likes drinking, man, we'll have to bring her to like an event or something. I could be a VIP at a music event and say, well, come with a couple of friends and just, you all just chill that's, out. That's lit. So big man thing, that's a positive note. You can bring your brethren, maybe you could chat to some of your brethren. You never know, bruv. The, the potential is <laughs> limitless, bruv. <laughs> so big man thing, yeah? It's cuffing season, bruv. Big man thing, hope you've enjoyed it, bruv. Shout out to the food. Big man thing. Shout out to the sponsors as well, bruv. What do you think about his answer at the end when he held up the card? I just feel like he he didn't think he could be the guy because he was too too concerned about me still being toxic. He should have taken it under his arms and been like, no, like I know I can be the guy. What did you think about her answer at the end? She's still young, innit? So she's still maybe out here living her life a lot of people to pick from, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. When you're older, the numbers get smaller, innit? So before you go, mm -hmm. could you spit some bars for us? If a nigga play me, then he got karma coming soon. You see me a boss bitch, won't let the nigga make the rules. The only time I listen when he pulls up in the coop, I throw it back to make a stack before he even ties his shoes. If he tries to treat me average, I'll leave him like a savage. Our leaves can't you see, I really be the whole package.